Here's how to make great thumbnails for YouTube in just five minutes. Let's start the timer. Here we go. The first thing we want to do is get the shot. So for this video, got a basketball. This is my little prop. We are making a hypothetical YouTube thumbnail for a video called how to shoot like Steph Curry. So I want to actually record this on my phone and I'm going to not use the self timer. I just think it's going to be easier and faster if I shoot in 4K at 60 frames per second, I'm gonna hit record. And 60 frames per second is gonna be more pictures within the second for me to choose from. So got my light right here. I'm just gonna hit a couple poses. Maybe like I'm shooting the ball. And I just wanna hit a few different angles. You don't wanna just settle for one and then you can see what looks best later. So I'm gonna hit a few more. Maybe this side. Okay. We have four minutes left, a little over four minutes. So I'm gonna stop filming here. And now I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna send this over to my laptop. So we are gonna airdrop this. I'm gonna hit next, airdrop. And I'm gonna send this to my laptop where I'm gonna then going to edit on Canva. Thank you very much Canva for sponsoring this video. And they make it super easy actually to edit thumbnails. And I'll show you some of my favorite features here, but as the timer is just ticking down, I'm gonna open up canva.com, hit create a design. Then we're gonna go to YouTube thumbnail. Now that this is open, we are gonna find this uh, video that I just sent to myself. And from here, I'm going to open this up. I'm then going to scrub through this. And I'm gonna find the image that I wanna use for my thumbnail. So this one looks pretty good. The ball's kind of cut off right there. So maybe I'll use it right about there, but I also hit a few more options. So I'm over here and it's ball's kind of shadowing my face. So I'm gonna use this one right here looks perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause and then scrub over, oof, this is great. So now we have a very high quality, you know, definitely high quality enough for YouTube of a photo for a thumbnail. So I'm gonna use that screenshot now and pull this into, go to my desktop and I'm gonna pull this in right here, perfect. So now with this inside of Canva, I am just going to make this a bit bigger. I'm gonna go to edit photo and this is one of my favorite features in Canva is we're gonna hit the background removal and it literally just takes a few seconds. You can see how clean this looks. Now we only have two minutes and 15 seconds left so we need to keep going. Basically what I wanna do at this point is add in my background. I'll make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna add in my background. So I'm gonna go on Google. I'm gonna type in outdoor basketball court. And from here, I'm just gonna find a good image that I can throw behind me and something that is pretty simple. This one's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna copy this image. I'm gonna throw it into Canva. I'm gonna paste it right here. And then I'm gonna right click and we are going to put this backwards. So I'm gonna send it backwards and I'm gonna make this a lot bigger. And you can see this is already looking pretty cool. For just a few minutes spent, like this is already looking uh, amazing. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blur the background to help me kind of pop off the background a bit more. And Canva makes it super easy. There's these effects down here and there's a blur option. So I'm gonna click blur. And from here, I can just change the intensity. Feel like that looks really good. So now this is just uh, nice and, and beautiful. I'm gonna click back on my image and I'm gonna go to the adjustments. And from here, this is where I can change the color. I can change the brightness. And that's what I'm gonna do is see, you know, the color temperature, I can make it a little bit warmer. I think that looks pretty good. I can change the brightness here. I'm going to maybe add in some more contrast. I think that's gonna look a little bit better, a little more contrasty, and we can mess around with the saturation. Maybe actually bring the brightness down just a little bit more and the contrast down just a hair. And then once you dial that in, I like to add a little bit of sharpness, not too much, but this just makes it easier to see on YouTube when they're super tiny, it's hard to see. So with 40 seconds left, let me add in some text. So I'm gonna go to text. I'm just gonna throw this one in right here and I'm gonna change this to shoot like Steph Curry. And this is already looking pretty great. I'm gonna delete this one down here. Um, and honestly, this is looking really good. I wanna change it to white and that looks awesome, but we do wanna go to effects, add in a nice shadow. I can change the blur here. We definitely want the shadow to be black. And this is looking really, really cool. Bring it a little bit closer, bring the transparency up. And then I can even change it to the font we use at Think Media, which is this one. Dang, this is looking fire with three seconds left. This is a really good YouTube thumbnail that we just made in five minutes. 
and it looks really, really good. So if you wanna try Canva out, make sure you use the link down in the description. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I love Canva for producing super quick thumbnails just like this. So check it out and we'll see you guys in the next video.